So here I am logged into my Google AdWords account. Pretty easy to set up, costs five pounds to open an account. And I go into the tools and analysis menu right here. And I've clicked on the keyword tool because I want to have a look at keywords that I could use for my campaign. And I'm assuming that I'm in the business of renting properties in Chester. So I'm going to put a phrase in here. This phrase houses to rent Chester. And I'm going to see what the kind of search volumes that I get. Now over on the left here, you have uh, a section called match types. You want to make sure that you have the phrase ticked as match type and not the broad, which is the default position. And I'll explain afterwards why Google likes you to go on broad match type rather than phrase. But let's go with phrase and I've done a search, hit this blue button in the center and I've got a result here. Now, first of all, you can see that it returns a search result for the term I put in, which is houses to rent Chester. And the first thing to note is this competition column in the center of the page, which is high. That means there are a lot of people who are bidding against this phrase here. And on the right hand side, you can see this local, this column called local um, monthly searches. And you can see the figure 260. What that means is that in the last recorded month on Google UK, there were 260 searches for the term houses to rent Chester. So you don't really want to go and try and compete for the top three spots on a search return page for Google uh, for this term because the bid price is going to be too high. As soon as you see high here in the competition column, that's what it's telling you. So what you want to do is you want to click on the word competition at the top of the column and that will order the, f the terms that um, the keyword ideas that AdWords is showing you with the high competition ideas first and then click on it a second time and it will order the keywords um, in low in terms of low competition and what what that means, low competition means low bid price. So for example, the first phrase that comes up in terms of low, and it hasn't even got low, it's below, below low because it's less than 10 searches a month, is houses for rent in Chester, UK. Now you might say, well, why should I go after that if it's less than 10 searches a month? Well, the reason is that this phrase, houses for rent in Chester, UK, if somebody's searching for that, it, they're looking for something very specific because they've used a lot of words, which is called a long tail uh, keyword. They're looking for a very particular thing. And in this case, it's exactly what your business provides. And even though there's less than 10 people searching for that phrase, because the competition for it is so low, it will be very cheap for you to get on the top of a Google search result page if you're bidding on that phrase houses for rent in Chester UK. So you might be able to pick up several of those 10 or less than 10 searches a month, but they might represent a really great return on your investment because you're paying so little uh, for your bid price. Now, if I scroll down a bit and look at some of the other, some of the other um, words, you can have a look at this one, for example. Now, this one, Passion for Property Chester. Passion for Property is a company that rents uh, property in Chester. And you might say to yourself, well, what's the point of me bidding for that phrase? Well, the reason is that again, we've got 73 people or 73 searches a month on Google UK for this particular phrase here. And the competition for it is low. Now, the point is, if somebody is searching the phrase, phrase passion for property Chester, yes, they are probably looking for that specific company, but they're pretty, you're, you can be pretty assured that they're looking for some kind of rental property in Chester. So if you put together an ad that appears at the top of the page when they search for that phrase, 
and your ad is really compelling and stands out and gives all the right hot hot buttons for somebody to click through on then uh, you've got you've got a chance of getting that person to click through on your Google ad uh, even though they've been searching for passion for property Chester and again because the competition is low you're going to be paying a very low bid price to be appearing top three for that phrase and you can go down through these other low competition phrases like here's another one Chester properties now why would somebody be searching for that again you can pick out some of these uh, that you think are low competition and start bidding on them and getting some traffic uh, from a top three uh, search results through to your website landing page so that's how you target long tail keywords in your business niche to drive traffic to your website